This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 33,000 photographers and get things like equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for creators like you. My wife is a beauty photographer. She takes photos of models, she does fashion photography, and she's been doing this for a while, but she's been really intrigued at the idea of shooting on film. I don't know anything about film. I don't know about the cameras. I don't know about actual film. I don't know about scans. So I recommend it to her. She try out a Fuji camera. I've tried a Fuji camera one time before with my homie Kosh down in Atlanta. And he was showing me some of the film simulations that they had on the camera that are just built into the JPEGs. I was like, yeah, why don't you just try this out first? If you like it, we'll try to get a film camera. Or if you love this, we'll end up buying this. I went to Tampa at the beginning of the month with my family and we rented the X100V by Fuji. And when I was using this camera, I was like, yo, this is fire. I actually ended up using this camera way more than she did. I've used this camera a handful of times over the past couple of weeks that I had it, but I wanted to link up with one of my artists and get some photos of them in their element. We got to this dope graffiti location and this guy, Nick, just came out of the cut like, hey, you guys wanna go onto the roof? And that's what we did. Let me ask you a question. Talk to me. How do you feel about me using this small camera? Appreciate it, bro. It looked like it ain't for real, for real. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be keeping it guy. At least you, at least you honest. At least you honest. It looked like we about to be up here doing some shit, you know, that's about to print out that bump. So see it. <laughs> I think this angle right here looks fire. I feel like a shot of you like leaning up on this drink. I think this angle right here looks dope. Hey, bro, tell him it looks better if you do the Fabo. You remember when Fabo wiped out the bottom of the shoe? <laughs> Dad, I'm gonna box my legs. Look out to your left. Uh oh. <laughs> legs breaking, boy. Check engine light came on. That's <laughs> yes, light on. You do what I see. Just tell me. I got you. Hold on. Bubba to your right. Let me look like a model. Look, look to your left a little bit. Yeah, like that. The thing that I really love about this camera is the fixed lens. It makes it. I don't want to say challenging, but it makes it a lot easier to decide what I'm shooting and how I'm shooting it because I only have one focal length. If I take my R6 out, I got 100 millimeters, I got 50 millimeter, I got 16 to 35, I got 35, 24. It's so many different options. And I'm constantly thinking about, okay, what would be the best way to capture this? But when you only have one option, it makes the process so much more fun. It's that little bit of limitation that really intrigued me to want to use this camera. The thing that really sold it for me though, in the process of using this camera to take photos is the film simulations. When it comes to taking pictures and photography for me personally, I find that the most stressful part of it is editing pictures. I really like the fact that I can build certain film emulations inside of this camera. I can just take the photo and see exactly what it will look like based on that already in camera and use the JPEG because the quality of it is super nice. I want to give a really quick shout out to PPA, Professional Photographers of America, for sponsoring this video. I love this community because it does a lot for me and it solves a lot of the problems that I had when I was first starting to create any sort of media, whether that be photography or video. One of my biggest problems that I had when I first started out was that I had no idea about contracts. I didn't know how to put them together. I didn't know where to get contracts at. The PPA has a huge selection of documents for small business owners in the photography space. All you have to do is download these templates and put the information that you need and it makes the process of securing your client and keeping things intact so easy. Another thing I really like about PPA is gear insurance. When I first started out, I had no idea where to get gear insurance. I didn't know what a good rate for gear insurance was. When you get a membership with PPA, it comes with $15,000 of equipment insurance already included. So you can feel super safe on set and you can protect your gear. And you don't feel this pressure to keep your gear super secure. You know what I mean? You know that if something unfortunate was to happen, you're secure all the way up to $15,000 in equipment insurance, which is awesome. Another really good thing that PPA offers is education. So it's tons of different video education pieces on this platform in the photography space and even video, which is awesome. I love it. Down in the description is going to be a link to take you guys over to PPA. If you guys use my link and sign up for a membership, you'll get an exclusive discount on that, which is awesome. Highly recommend it. And I mean, for the education, documents, and gear insurance, you really can't beat it. So 
Obviously, you can just go out and take incredible photos on your DSLR, take them home, drop your preset on them, or get film emulation presets to use inside of Lightroom. Yes, that's obviously an option. I could have did that. I couldn't continue to use my R6, but I find that shooting this way with the fixed focal length with the film simulation already in camera, shooting at aperture priority all the time, it just makes me so much more susceptible to scoop the camera and actually go out and take pictures with it. They already look good in camera. I don't have to like guess like, dang, I think this will look good when I edit it. Like, nah, I know exactly when I take the picture, like, oh, this looks dope. This is fire. It's small, it's not a hassle to bring with me. And the photo quality is actually really good. That's the only way I've been using this camera. I actually don't even know how to switch this camera to video mode. I haven't deep dived into the settings or anything. I just love it for what it is. And I like the simplicity of the system. So that's why I ended up purchasing a Fuji X100V like two days after I tried. That's like super random. And I've never been pulled by a camera like that, man. The people who use Fuji, the people who try Fuji cameras, I'm sure you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. But if you want to do lifestyle photography, behind the scenes photography, landscapes, I highly recommend you try this camera out, man. Like just rent it and see the difference that this style and this format of photography brings to the game and gets you excited because this camera got me so excited, man. I freaking loved it to the point where I purchased one two days later. That's how I feel about the Fuji X100V. This isn't a review. I might have a full in-depth review about it sometime down the line, but right now I'm just enjoying shooting with it, man. I love taking the photos and the different film simulations and stuff that you can find online is just incredible. Do me a favor, man, head down to the comment section and let me know. Have you ever tried a Fuji camera? Because prior to this, I've only tried one and it didn't really excite me that much, but using it, how I used it, I loved it. So I would love to know like where you guys sit at with the Fuji thing. like. I like Fuji, I don't like Fuji, you never use the Fuji, you, you interested to try the Fuji, let me know down in the comment section, I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. Make sure you guys check out the Professional Photographers of America. It's an incredible community of photographers and the perks that you get with it are unbeatable. Highly recommend it. Link down in the description, you guys will get a special discount.